on my floor because it wasn't here when I left and ain't nobody here. I always thought that it was somebody living in a motherfucking basement. I'm going to take a wild guess from the comments of that video that a lot of you haven't heard of frogging and not like jumping around and frogging. Frogging with a P. That is scary, bro. For a little context on that video, there's a mess in this lady's house and she didn't make the mess. Her kids didn't make the mess. And she's convinced that it's somebody else inside her house that made this mess. She's panicking. She's taping off the attic to make sure there's nobody living up there. And like her friends and family are calling her wild for doing all this. But I believe you. I believe you because this is scary. Frogging is when somebody lives in your house without you knowing. Not because they have nowhere to live, but because it's like an adrenaline rush for them. It's a game to live in your house without you knowing. And there's a whole community of people who do this. I've seen a lot of scary movies. I watched a movie on frogging. I forget what it's called. You could probably look it up. That scared me more than any scary movie I've ever watched in my life because it's it's a real thing. I kind of lucked out, though, because this family has a whole spare room that nobody goes in, so I'm kind of just vibing. I'm not going to lie. That would scare the bejesus out of me. But I'm going to be honest with you. If you decide to be an uninvited guest in my house, I'm going to leave you holier than Jesus Christ. In the comment section, it said that there was an update to the video and somebody was staying in her house. So somebody was staying in this woman's house with her and her two kids as a practical joke. That is insane. <laughs> Let her go, bro. Let her go, dog. Let her go. Let her go. something you my woman and you get to acting like this or another man another man sweaty ass shirt you gotta have to take the bus back to the crib and you know what once you get to the crib your bags will be packed waiting for you ain't no way we going out and you embarrassing me like that there's a certain type of way you got to carry yourself when you with your man and that ain't it what's the minimum size you're accepting sure. Okay, don't touch me though. Back up. It's all good. Don't touch me. It's okay. They didn't ask you to touch me either. She don't even know him. What? Whoa, that was, that was crazy. Do you not know him? He just tried to touch me and then tried to touch you. <laughs> Bro. Now Monica's scary out here, people. Be safe. It's a lot of hungry foreign guys out yeah, here. Yeah, a lot of hungry foreign weirdos. That was cr I thought that was your boyfriend. No! Are you crazy? Does size matter? It does not matter. Bro, she was finna end up in somebody oil tanker. Does body count matter? It does not matter. Does size matter? Does body count matter? Y'all know how I feel about that, and I know a lot of y'all feel the same way. When it comes to size, I feel as though size matters based on what type of pleasure uh, shorty want. Because there's certain spots in the back of the house that if you touch those spots, amazing things happen. But now, if you just want to get the job done, you don't even got to go that far in. Right? Alright, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Leave a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the videos. And you know, our next milestone is half a mil, man. So let's get right. Stop playing with me. What's going on, buddy? Yo, I've seen this video countless times. And every time I see this video, it irks my spirit. Nigga, brother. Team, I am. Obviously, he doesn't live here. Excuse me, why don't you deliver the property to the city if you don't live here? You don't live here. You're visiting a friend. That's why I just let us know. Because you get nervous. You get nervous. You're concerned. You're walking around my house. I'm not walking around. You're walking around. You're walking around.
Honestly, if you've been past my house four times, I don't know you. I've never seen you before, and you're walking past my house over and over again. So if you live here or you have a friend you're visiting here, that's fine. Let I'm me not know. in front of your house. You're you actually, you're actually, you're actually, you're actually, you're actually, you're actually, actually following me. <laughs> so you went up the wrong way. We just asked him a question. You live out here? I'm part of the neighborhood. You're part of the neighborhood. Does that mean you live here? It's simple. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> You live here. You went up to my wife. Bro, I didn't go up to your wife, bro. I don't know who you're talking about. Bro. And I, I think I can walk around in my neighborhood. If you live here, yeah. So you live here. Video X my spirit every time. What's going on here is they're literally trying to intimidate this black man or this black boy because I don't even think he's I don't even think he's an adult. They're trying to intimidate this black boy and it's not working. And you're going to see how it escalates because the intimidation is not working. Watch how it escalates. All right. You gonna keep asking me the same yeah, question yeah, over and over and over yet. and over and over. This man following me. This is harassment, right? You haven't answered yet. That's harassment, right? This that's harassment, right? I think what you did to my wife, yes. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look you followed me. You ready to? Oh, it don't show the car. Don't it don't show the whole thing. All right, so there's another part of the video where one of the guys ran in his car and pulled out his gun. And the one riding the bike had to run up to him and stop him. Now, personally, I think he was selling wolf tickets. I don't think he was going to shoot. I just felt as though they were trying to intimidate this man. The intimidation did not work. My thing is, bro, if you think that somebody is in your neighborhood doing something that they don't need to be doing, Call the police. Now, why do you feel as though he don't belong there? That's on you. Because right now, y'all just look bad. He don't belong there because he's black. Y'all ever seen that show on Amazon called Them? The first season where the black family moved into that white neighborhood. And then all the white neighbors came outside and was looking at him crazy. And were burning dolls that were in blackface on their lawn. When I see this video, this is what it reminds me of. You guys remember... um. Those old videos where they started integrating the schools and those black students were walking into the schools and all the white folks were just outside looking at them, throwing stuff at them and telling them that they don't belong here. This is what this video reminds me of. I know I have a lot of white subscribers on my channel. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys feel about these these gentlemen harassing this black boy? Ma'am, uh, my friend thought you were uh, very attractive and he was wondering if he could uh, talk to you real quick. I ain't gonna say it. I just wanna know, like, what your name is. I'm Deja. Deja is such a beautiful name. Thank you. So where you from, Deja? Where are you from? Where you from? I don't know. What do I look like? I don't know. Where are you from? I'm from Cali. Cali? Yeah. You're so, so gorgeous. I would let you know that I would love to, like, you know, get to know you since I'm going to get your name. I need my number. What's your, uh, ethnicity? Like she not ugly, right? I'm not finna say she ugly. She's not ugly at all. It, it's just the nose threw me off a little bit. You feel me? And I'm not trying to body shame nobody. I'ma stop. She ain't go outside. She was talking all that hot garbage, but she ain't go outside. Come your ass outside. She said, Will, and stood her ass in the same spot. That <laughs>
Stop going to people's jobs and messing with them. This is one of the reasons I dislike customer service because sometimes when you're sitting there behind that counter, some people come up and feel as though they can talk to you and treat you any type of way because they're the customer. I'm telling you, you're going to meet the right one. In this particular case, she met the right one. Well, I want to see the part two. What happened when she walked in the parking lot? Or did she walk in the parking lot? Yo, Dad, I got a question. Uh-oh. My guy's coming soon and I need 160. What trying guy? To... Whoa, 160? I'm trying to get a zip. Well, who? Why would you need zip ties? No, no, it's just a zip. How, are you putting something you together? Just give me a hundred and a couple twenties. What are you twenties? Wait, how many twenties? Because I might want a zip too. Can you add some in there for oh, me? Wait, so 120, 240. 320. Wait a second. Are we talking about zip? What's a f zip? Listen, here's. You know, okay, oh, look, I give, three, I give you three. I give you three bills. Here you go. Is it a zip? Listen to me. Can I make sure you should? Yo, 164 zip is crazy. Am I tripping? It gotta be some gas. It gotta be some gas. You paying that much for it? But right, am I? Tri I it's been a while. It's been a while. Any professional smokers in here? Is it a razor, like a scooter razor? Is that what we're She's talking so about? No, it's a zip. A zip type of yeah, razor. Mom, I'm just definitely I need two zips. So you guys are f riding scooters again? Let's it's just say, Mom. Let's just say they're zip ties. Why the f would you need zip ties? Yeah, we'll we'll call it that. Zippers for a sweater. Yeah. Like shut the. F up. I don't understand why all this money is getting thrown around. What the f is a zip? I have a headache. Leave me the f alone. I don't understand. Mind right. your business. Yeah, front. Okay. Right. Well, no, I can, I'm coming. What no, no, just stay here. You. Don't forget your money. Who, oh, shit. Who, who is this person? Nothing I'm wrong. No, I want to. You're not minding your business, but you're complaining about having a headache. How does that work? <laughs> Yo, any time <laughs> she tried to get in touch with her in the black side, she said, You fucking with the wrong one, honey. We don't believe you. You need more people. You don't, you don't touch her. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, she ready. She ready. You started. You annoyed me. You annoyed everybody in here. Come on, baby. Come on. Come so because she annoyed you, you felt as though you was justified to touch her. That is insane. I haven't had any Karen moments and I pray I don't. The closest I've had to a Karen moment, this older white lady, she had to have been in her, somewhere in her mid-50s, backed into my Mustang in a Publix parking lot. And when we got out the car, she tried to act like, well, you didn't see me? And I'm like... No, we're not going to do that. We're definitely not doing that. I ain't going to lie. I started screaming out. I'm like, we're not doing that. I was already here. You backed into me. And then she was like, oh, no. Bro, she jumped in her car and peeled off. And I ain't going to lie. We had a, a mini car chase around Sandy Springs. And I called the police. And I was like, hey, this lady just hit my car. And she's running away from me. She's running off. And the lady on the um, on the phone was like, please stop following her. Please stop following her. Look, just get the, do you have the license plate? I was like, yeah. She's like, okay, you have the license plate. We're going to send a unit out, but please stop following her. I didn't listen, but maybe I should have listened because this geriatric, she pulled some Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Fast and Furious shit and lost me. It was embarrassing. That's all I'm going to say. And she did it in a Toyota Avalon. I had my Mustang. She did it in a Toyota Avalon. She went through a parking lot, dipped out, act like she was going on the street, went back in the parking lot. I went on the street. By the time I, got, I was able to get back in the parking lot, she was gone. I don't even know what direction she went in. That's embarrassing. I can't believe I said that shit out loud.